Okay, so so we're here. We've got uh, Trudy Ann Webster with us, and we're she and um, let me make sure I get the names right. She and Thrive Positions are Launchpad finalists. So um, she's just got the super cool product. It's funny, um, Trudy, because as we were coming on and you were coming in, Penny couldn't stop talking about the. I think it's. Um, the honey lime and black pepper. Um, so he couldn't stop talking about it. So it hit the house um, the other day, right? Yes. So I'm looking at it thinking, okay, whatever, right? I put it aside because I was waiting for everybody to come in. I cracked it open yesterday. I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking, oh, that's kind of a weird jerky looking thing. And then I read it. It's clear to you guys state it's not a jerky. And I'm thinking, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> everybody wants to make whatever they want. Anyway, so I open this thing up. And I take a bite and I'm thinking, oh, this ain't jerky. It's really, it's got an interesting texture. Re it's pleasant. It's got a really nice taste. It's, it's a really interesting product. I, I did not expect what I got. And I gave myself, I took I took the lemon peppercorn, lime or whatever. I can't remember what flavor it was. That one. Anyway. I, for the record, he butchered the description, That's... but I looked it up. And it's honey I lime think he's black. talking honey about lime. Honey, Listen, honey I got lime, lime in it. I was pepper. pretty good. To go. <laughs> I was hungry and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't care. I liked it. And I gave my son took one of the chorizo. I got a chorizo left because I think you sent two of each. Yes. And he said the same. Like he goes, he goes, Dad, that was like, that was really good. Like that was, re he goes, that's not what I expected. I said, I told you. I said, it wasn't even close to what I expected either. I expected like jerky, jerky. Megan, that, this stuff is, you're going to love it, Phil. It's really so interesting. He keeps saying good. that, and I don't have anything. Like, he keeps saying, he just uh, eats everything, and he says, well, Phil, you'll love it. Hey, and you told like, me to be the judge on this thing. That's I know, I know, I know, I know. But so the other thing I want to make clear is, so his son is like a health. He's health he's, freaky. He's like, he's so healthy. He weighs everything he eats to make sure he's kind of got. So if Dano... We, his name's Daniel, but we call him Dano. So if mm -hmm. Daniel approves it, it's pretty. You're pretty good to go. It's pretty special. So you're pretty yeah, good yeah, to yeah. go. So anyway, so we've you're got really Trudy and Webster Thrive Provision. So she's not going to hack it up and tell you what the product actually is, but you need to know ahead of time it's Dano approved. So anyway, awesome. so so we're, I'm going to stop talking. Maybe tell us a little bit more about yeah all of this. So Thrive Provisions has been in the market for just over a year, really. We um, spent from 2019 to when COVID breaking to do the, the recipes. I'm so glad you like the honey lime and black pepper. Um, these were, recipes were created by Red Steel Chefs at the Center for Beef for Excellence. And oh, okay. um, that's why we ended up with a maple apple blueberry because everyone went mm, maple apple blueberry with beef. But then we tried it. I haven't tried that one yet. Hmm. Wait till you try it. It's really good. It appeals to a sweet palate. Um, I'm kind of liking that. Maple, apple, blueberry. See, my chorizo was going to be my next. Chorizo and a coffee now... and cocoa. Yes. Hmm. Um, and interestingly enough, I can't take responsibility for the recipes or the inception of this uh, because Jeff Ball is, is the guy who thought up this and it is so tender because it is actually the wagyu beef itself is very tender right and we don't add any fillers to it or soy so it's just beef spices and the binder which is natural dates oh that's what's binding it yeah so there's not a lot of ingredients in it because it's uh, almost got it's almost got the texture it's not really there but it's almost got the texture of um um not carpaccio what's the one um like the ground meat that's like, like a carpaccio what do you call it beef sushi <laughs> i call it right it's got it's got a really it's got such a moist like you know chewy t a jerky can be fill this stuff you yeah. bite in because wagyu because of the fat content like wagyu is like butter like it's wonderful this is really really honestly trudy i did not expect it I figured I'd bite into it. It's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy it because it's, it's meat and I like it. That's all good. But I really, I really enjoyed it. I really thought that was a really cool product. Like I really okay. did. I thought it was really, okay. really good. Really good. I love it because it's low carb. 
and it's 13 grams of protein in every bar minimum. Yeah. Chorizo is 14. So a lot of hockey player moms like it because they feed it to their teenage kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a lot of comments about that on our website. Interesting. So, so yeah. And where is it made? Our, it's actually technically made in BC, but everything comes from Alberta. So, so the beef's Alberta and, and, and manufactured, I'm in BC and manufactured in BC. Okay, yes. cool. Uh, we wanted to keep it Western Canadian and we wanted to make sure that we had a, a product from a federally inspected plant. Uh, so for those that are worried about safety and that, that that's the route we went. Uh, the, the herd is one herd. It is pasture raised. It is out um, Southeast of Calgary at a place called Brant, Alberta. We're going to put Brant, Alberta on the map. You Again. might. We love it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's was, all good. It was a ghost town. Really? If you look it up, it, it, a lot of ghost town stuff comes up on it. But that is, um, that is where the farm is. And it's a true Wagyu beef, right? It's yes. The Wagyu My mouth is watering. Uh, Jeff's been raising it. Wagyu for, since 93. Wow. Yeah. Dang. And if you're, so like Phil's in, in Mississauga, he's mm -hmm. not one of us in the west <laughs> one of those over there on the other side if he was to go out and wait i see purchase pins. this like i, I see I, lots of pins out are here. you across the country then or or mostly focused in the west uh we've been focusing in the west but we have actually made it managed to branch out uh so we actually with the help of purity have gone coast Good. to coast all right yeah, on. you're you're in a lot of places you're in uh you're in healthy selection you're in uh, uh, the big carrot, purple ca carrot, healthy planet. Oh, so you yes. oh you're in lots then. and lots and lots of places. And in the uh, west? And in the west, uh, we are in Sobeys, Alberta. Good. We're hoping to be in Sobeys, BC this year uh, under their local program. All right. We're in um, Nutters. Yeah. We're okay. in, mm -hmm. oh gosh um amaranth and we just pitched save on so hopefully fingers crossed um <laughs> well i mean it's 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 a good product it's bc alberta i mean you're not getting much more bc alberta than save on that's true uh right? we're so, also in calgary co-op in the natural awesome so you've got some well. you've got some distribution and a product like this like how are you finding um because you're up against, unfortunately, because it's a meat, it's a meat category, it's a meat stick, and it's that, that size, you are up against like the Jack Links and like those guys own a lot of real estate in these subsets. Are you, how are you finding um, like the acquiring of shelf space or can you, the listings or? Um, well, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm one. Well, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what we found is we started out by saying we're a protein bar, but then if you put us in the protein bar, our suggested retail doesn't work because it's right. 599, mm -hmm. 549 to 648, depending on the retailer. Mm -hmm. um, so we started going after the premium meat section. And what we found is really successful is the fact that we are different. We are Wagyu and we are not, um, our protein count is so high that we are not considered the same as a, the rest of the meat snacks. We're the only ones in Canada, so we're a very, very different product. I always ask to be up at the tills. Well, everybody does, I know. <laughs> Good luck on that one. <laughs> you know, but at least you're trying. Good for you. Because because we stand out and we're kind of unique. Um, and our ingredient deck really certifies for us. It you know when people go back and read the ingredients and the fact that it's made from whole muscle meat. Um, so that we we can keep our calorie count down and keep the carbs down. Um, and it's only got a limited amount of sugar from the dates. There's no added sugars. There's no added fillers. That That's where our appeal really comes in. And your retail is what? Um, depending on the retailer. Yeah. 549 to 648 of R. So that, but that's right in line. That's, yeah. that's you're not out of line with mm -hmm. like um i, I didn't because um, my son that goes what do you think this is going to price at i said oh shit Dan, that's why i go i mean i don't know like probably like 9.99 10.99 i said it's going to be super expensive right yeah 
That's what I'm. It's no, that's, but that's, that's, that's really not much. Reasonable. That's not. Yeah. I mean, if I if I go buy a pack of of jerky or a meat product or you know a couple of pepperoni sticks and a, and a thing, it's all going to be in that area, yeah, like between four ninety nine and six ninety nine anyway. Yeah, and we try and keep it there because that's where you know people who want beef and meat as a snack, that's kind of what they expect. Yeah. Today. We just deliver a much more premium experience, and that was part of what we wanted to do is we wanted yeah. to utilize the Wagyu and bring it to every day. I like it, oh, man. Really I exciting. Do. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really great. So, uh, that's exciting. So you're um, going to, you're obviously the show next week because yeah. you're, you're, you're in launch launch pad and then we'll see you at the show. So who's pitching at launch pad? Jeff is Jeff is okay. cool. Okay. Yep. And then I, I um, think I'm just a silent partner in that one in the background, but, uh, we could change and then for the two days after at the show, when they want to find you at booth number seven, five, three at seven, five, three, three you'll be at okay. the booth and they can talk to you and get all the, the, the back history and all the wonderful things that go with it. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff and I will be there and our, our director of fun, David. So when they come by, they should go see David. Director of fun. I <laughs> like that. Well, Phil will be there because Phil hasn't had any, you, you know what? And I'm so going I, down I right think you're going to have to change the, the name. He's going to have to be the keeper of beef. Like, I think that's the way you go at this. I'm, okay I'm just saying, right? Because because okay it's it. not like you're selling something ordinary. You're selling Wagyu, right? So the keeper of the Wagyu. So you want it. Well, that, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You want it. Like, you, you got to come. <laughs> like, I'm the keeper of the Wagyu. So, like, we make a deal here or you don't get the Wagyu. That's it. You know, <laughs> I like it. It's the way, it's the way life spins, um, baby. That's um, very cool. Trudy, thank you for coming on. Um, good luck at Launchpad. And then we thank will we'll definitely we'll come by. The show. We'll, we'll come see you at the show. Absolutely. Please do. Yeah. We'll look for you. Okay. We'll get you awesome. some beef bars. You bet. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Trudy. Thanks. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye.